my name is Christian Götsch, um, after, after Martin, who runs like two really large incumbent companies in, in classifieds, one in, in cars, one in real estate. I actually built an atta attacker company to attack incumbents and jobs. And uh, we did that in a very effective fashion. We found the company uh, a couple of years ago in 2006 uh, as the pan-European leading career recruitment network. So we're not necessarily classified business, we're connecting the demand and supply side of jobs in the higher segment. Um, we run the business now in 10 markets across Europe in seven languages. We created critical mass over the couple, last couple of years with three and a half million members on the candidate side, highly like on the top 10% of the, the workforce, um, like think of 100,000 euros and up or 60,000 euros uh, $100,000 and up or 50,000 pounds. And uh, on the B2B side, we got 12,000 headhunters using, using our site. For example, 2,500 of those are logging in every day to look for those candidates and post jobs where the candidates then can apply to. So it's a bit more of a matchmaking model than a pure classified model. And we also know as we're going more into the company, to the, after the company is directly, we have over 8,000 company recruiters using our site. Um, the monetization is different. That's actually where we changed it. Uh, we monetize on, initially on the consumer side only uh, through a B2C subscription model, not on the B2B side as all the other incumbent players. That was one of the blind spots. The other one was like they didn't think of like a position play looking at the high end, the highly qualified people that probably think most of their careers. Um, irony, but that was a big open void. And some of the job portals still don't see that, that actually that market today, which is amazing to us. Um, since about a year, or year and a half or so, we also start building um, a monetization angle towards the B2B side, that market side, where we're selling like, like classified uh, to, to the companies for their postings, in case they want to post jobs, in case they actually want to search direct after candidates. Um, they can also buy a license to our CV database. And that actually that both has, on both sides, on B2C and B2B, it's a freemium model. So we are free, but if you pay, you can actually pay a lot. Oh. So if you charge like 50 bucks for, for um, a car uh, insert, uh, like classified, we charge up to 2,000 actually for a job classified. Um, or it's free, so, but you can get that going. Uh, we run that with a quite a national team of 150 people, uh, uh, mostly based in Munich, some are uh, across the European uh, region, uh, and we're mostly backed by um, European uh, consumer internet VCs. The way the model works, I think I just explained it, we're um, we actually taking a lot of uh, jobs from about 12,000 companies from their company websites. And with that content, we go out and tell candidates, we get loads of high paying jobs for you. With that, we are addressing the active seekers. We get them on our site. Uh, it's a freemium model, a certain percentage, a pretty good percentage actually upgrades to, um, to the subscription with a very good unit margin. Uh, if you think of dating sites, it's pretty much the same business model on a spreadsheet. Um, and um, then the, the people, those candidates put their profiles in, then headhunters can actually search for those profiles in a freemium model initially free, later we start monetizing them. Uh, and later, and at some point, we are on the stage now, companies also start like well, uh, uh, talking to us like, well, if I'm like one of 12,000 companies, how can I have my jobs higher up? That's the model. So we found like a way to get into a market where you need critical mass, and uh, you have a chicken and egg uh, issue normally, and we think we fixed that, um, or we proved we fixed that. So we actually enter markets where was, there was really strong incumbents, similar to cars or real estate. We did it in jobs, and it worked really, really fine. Um, if you think of like the way I described the product model, what's our competitive space? Um, on the one end, if you look at that chart there, on, on the vertical axis, it's like salary. Like think this is the space for the top 10% of the workforce. Uh, it starts with like 50,000, 60,000 euros, or say 80, 100,000 dollars in the US, um, all the way up. And on the left side, you have the social products. Uh, you had Stefan before presenting Zing, uh, which came from a social professional networking space with a value proposition claiming business networking is good for all sorts of uh, purposes, which is true. Um, we were fundamentally different against these guys. We we're saying like, we're only for networking with headhunters and be found by headhunters in a confidential closed way. It's only one topic, but we're selling only one selling point and we're doing that in a closed environment, which is quite important for professionals because you don't want to do like the full dress up, dress down in a, in a professional network like LinkedIn or Xing and show everything that you have because it will show up in your company. They will realize you want to move on. Um, 
we, we looked at, and on the right side of the chart, you see basically the transactional part of the market of the job market, which is really a gigantic market. If we're talking about the top 10% of the workforce, it's almost like 15, 16 million people in the US or in Europe, um, both. And, um, and you're talking about um, multi-billion dollar uh, budgets that the companies are spending um, to hire those people. Just think of an average cost per hire of twelve, fourteen thousand uh, dollars 14000 in that, in that um, salary bracket. While the headhunters on the higher end, like in Hydric and Struggles or Spencer Stewart's, charging like something like forty, fifty, sixty thousand and up for a transaction, and the job portals are charging something like a couple of hundred dollars, in some cases only fifty, for the media type product. Nobody will be placed in between, other than actually small one, two, three man band headhunters. We we kind of built a digital model playing in that space, and with that very unique uh, monetization model. Um, if you look at that a little bit from a um, number standpoint, uh, as we started the consumer business model first, um, we're now like um, out of 16 million people in Europe, we got three and a half, uh, so we're gonna be four. We don't think we get all 16 of those, probably half. That's maximum addressable market. You see there's still ample room to grow. Um, and uh, if you relate it to the P&L to the right side, you can see how like the, the, gray, li the, the gray part of the boxes are our revenues. The total thing is about 20 million run rate right now. That gives you a feeling of the scale. Um, and that's still growing nicely. And if you look at the bottom at the EBIT level, um, our consumer business is nicely profitable since uh, this year, actually since last year already, uh, second half. Uh, and we're still investing quite a bit in uh, going after the big uh, pie on the right side where you see how large that recruitment market is. Uh, we're now starting to build a sales force. And that gets me to actually what uh, we're currently doing. Uh, we are at the bottom left uh, today, a pan-European consumer subscription play in the recruit as a recruitment network. Uh, or career network, and um, we're currently talking to quite some growth funds to uh, actually f uh, fund and accelerate our our um, entry into the, uh, the the recruitment network space where we start competing with the job portals, which requires us to grow like our sales force from 30 to something like two or 300 as quickly as we can, because you need salespeople to monetize companies in B2B. That's exactly what Scott Grouper has in an amazing way. They have all the people on the uh, feet on the street. Um, secondly, we're, uh, we're talking to, uh, and if anybody's here who is actually relevant, um, uh, we're, we're talking to strategic partners that can help us with consumer distribution or I'll take uh, taxes into, into our into its sales force in uh, the US or Asian geography. Because with our model, we can actually be a beautiful complement to any general player, general market player who wants to have a high-end product uh, that will actually be an effective defense measurement against um, any kind of attack from LinkedIn. So that's essentially where the company is today, and uh, so we have a pretty nice profitable business now and um, a good, bunch of good growth dimensions.